very excited. So you've probably been in many of these sticker albums. Have you had, one, or two, you, one or two, yeah. You should have actually, like this was right yeah. for a little deep dive, I'll show you there on camera. Oh, yeah. So this is a new Irish Rugby Trading Cards Collector album, 2017, 2018. I'm not getting paid for this, it's from Glenisk, who uh, sent in some free yogurts as well to go with it. We're a cheap buy around here. J- JP was throwing him down his neck he earlier was, on. He was yeah. throwing him, and then just, yeah, and literally throwing some in the bin then when he was just, there was a full pack of them, he had about two of them, yeah. he said, I'm done. Well, we're definitely getting getting paid, sh- he had five of them, he says, and there was one left. Didn't even offer me. Didn't even offer it to anybody else. Cheers, man. Did you collect sticker albums? When I was a boy, I did, yeah, when I was a kid. What was the yeah. first one? The Panini. Um, had you the Italian 90, the big book? The Orbis book? Yeah, Rook. definitely, definitely had Italian 90, but I would have had the, what was the, but the mascot called from, from Italian 90, Rich? Ciao. Ciao, yeah, there you go, I knew you'd know it. That was a great mascot. Uh, yeah, it was. Um, that is the great I remember, remember Mexico 86 as well, what was the guy who had the big uh, the big sombrero in in 86 as well? Oh, God, you've got I, me, I had 86 yeah. as well, I remember collecting for 86, and, and I... That probably would have been about the time I would have been starting collecting. Mid mid eighties would have been the first seasons. So I'd have been collecting the Panini Nin- albums. PK, PK, yeah. yeah. There you go. Wow, nineteen ninety was the pinnacle. The Orbis World Cup ninety sticker album oh. is the is the measuring stick by all other sticker well, albums. My entire football knowledge for I would say a good six seven years Same. was based solely around the greatest goals of all time. Like Gordon Bank save, I hadn't seen it. I would say until probably ninety six ninety seven. But it could never match what I had envisaged in my head. The imagination of just looking at it on the page. Yeah. The diagram the, with the dotted, dotted exactly line. Exactly, as to yeah. where Pele's header had bounced and how he had managed to just somehow, yeah. despite everything, turn it over the top of the crossbar. Archie Gemmell's goal against the Dutch. Oh, it's Class, great stuff, isn't was it? Was there 33 te- No, 25. Was there 25 teams in that There's album? 20, 25 teams in a Denmark were the extra team in it. There is a definite reason behind that. The... Uh, received logic was that Denmark hadn't qualified at the time or that group hadn't been decided I think they were in the same group as Romania in qualifying so they were included in the uh, ah. print run so that's why you had the likes of Soren Lurby and Jan Molby in your World Cup 90 sticker that's album. great yeah I didn't know that yeah. fact they weren't there. I didn't know that actually yeah. I don't know if that's actually true but there you go I think it was because the final qualifier it's under my so. bed at home I always had in my head for some reason what? it's under my bed at home bring the whole thing bring it in yeah, I, I think there's pieces in my head. Did you it was somewhere it? in the did you, attic. Did you, no, ever, did you ever complete because one? in my head I have completed them. Yeah, I think my, there was my brother. Some my brother I didn't think I did. My brother completed two. I think. Yeah. Well, oh, I, I used to dream when you're growing up in Ballyhonus in the west of Ireland, in the wild west in the nineties. Oh, Kev, it was tough. I'll tell you. <laughs> I used to dream of the day I would be brought to one of those swap shops. <laughs> Someone's got laid out. They used to come to Dublin once a year in April, and they might bring Ian Rush or somebody with them, and you could go and you could bring all your spares and swap them but I could just never get to Dublin for it I always imagined they were just fantasy land sure, they didn't build the, the road cool to Dublin people, until all the cool people hung out and got to get all their stickers yeah I haven't finished it I saw it there I'm, I'll bring it in but yeah. there's it's so it goes through all the greatest players of all time there's like an yeah. Afraid of the Stefano Faring Puskas page Hans everything Crank, I learned Hans about Hans Crankle is in there it's Oof. the first name I ever came across it's the first time I ever came across Hans Crankle you get a good in-depth geography of Italy you do actually it tells you it, it taught you a lot better than my geography teacher in secondary did the <laughs> Mexico 86 mascot official definition according to JP uh, was PK a jalapeno pepper characteristic of Mexican cuisine with a moustache a colimote sombrero yeah. yeah and the Mexican football team colours yeah it names come from picante Spanish for spicy ah, let's yeah. be honest I don't think they get away with it today probably not what is the one for Russia Oh Christ! They've gotten all these nondescript, like weird quasi. Do you know what? Don't really pay too much attention. Who was the one? Um, who was the one for the for the last World Cup in Brazil? They had, they had these weird looking fox creatures. Did they? Yeah. They had two of them in Poland and Ukraine at Euro 2012, if yeah. I remember. And I met the guy. I met the guy. I said a guy for France Euro 2016, the day of the final outside. What, you actually you met the mascot? I met the mascot. Yeah, and smoke. And I got my photo I'd with him. I'd say there might have been two or three of those, uh, Nate, maybe even five or six different mascots. Doesn't matter. I got my photo with him, sent them back home to the kids. They were delighted. It was the highlight of my trip. Yeah. Anyways, off in a tangent, because look what I got. Zoom right in. It's my very own sticker. Oh, my God. <laughs> look at that. Fair play. What does he say? It's a, I, I don't want to... So, number eight, oh, Connacht. too close. Jesus. Number eight, Connacht. Oh, look at that. Put it up, put it up. Look yeah. at that. Jack of all trades. <laughs> that means, yeah. That's my CV. Jack of all trades, right master there. of none. That's what they say. Well, considering, look at some of the other ones. Can I just say that that picture... Dave McIntyre. Uh, you, you, like, that's actually Dave, because Dave is built yeah. like that. Dave what? McIntyre, Leinster. What does it say? He does look like John. He, Star he, he of looks the commentary more box. More and more like John Walters as well, honestly. I think he, oh, he does yeah. look like... I thought he looked a bit like Simon Zebo, but John yeah, you're Walters, right. He looks like John Walters. Walters. You see, that could be McIntyre's actual body. 
That, that's yeah. certainly my accent. That's exceptionally like, flattering. Talk about that, that is that's, exceptionally that's, flattering. No, no, that's, that's not a Photoshop. That's not my head attached to somebody else's body. That is. That is literally my body. Is it? Yeah, you know, I've been gymming a lot, so yeah. it's just, that's, Have you? I'm a number eight. You've been going, I haven't done much there. Oh, <laughs> here's Joe Malloy here's Joe Malloy this is by the way especially for everybody this on Facebook.com who's doing the camera work inside forward, forward, Facebook.com forward slash off the ball up on YouTube what does he say, does he say Joe Malloy winger I think it says winger I could have used another word uh, star of star the studio, of the studio. Oh. so he's star of the studio star of the commentary box he wrote jack himself. of all trades yeah. I, I hadn't seen yours I didn't I see yours I don't know why I'm giving Glyn Esk all this free publicity yeah. after such I tweet, a I tweeted, I tweeted Dave and uh, Joe up I hadn't seen yours you obviously t- took yours and hid it away or kind of kept it somewhere did you, did you send one he's framing that did you send one to your wife send the picture to your wife no I bet you did I didn't I bet you did I saw you taking a photograph earlier <laughs> yeah, on I put it up online oh did you Right. hold it up okay. again alright that's that's not photoshopped. That don't is. hold it up again. Is, is that what JP said? He said don't hold it up. Yeah. We don't need to see Anyways, it again. you can check that out on our Facebook and YouTube page. Anyways, that got me very excited. Good, a little good. bit earlier on. There's Your own a, picture. Are you in that? Uh, there's a Premier League sticker book right behind you. Oh, oh, 04. Oh, four. Is Kevin right. in it? This is falling apart. Hold on. Take a take a quick look. Who are you playing for? That's then? Shane Hannon, one of oh, our four. producers. Old Premier League sticker book from two thousand and four. Is he go. there? Beep beep beep. Has uh, he got the Kevin Kilban sticker? Lester. Christ these are very influential because I got one of these sticker books for Euro 2016 for my kids cars and all he got was Shane Long and now Shane Long's his favourite player oh look at the fresh faced young man here <laughs> where's the camera on here Let, uh, there we go oh there just, mm-hmm. just bring it down Lee Tai Lee Tai no, 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 I was going to say it looks a bit like Kevin but I'm fairly sure it's Lee Tai wow there's Tommy Tommy Gravison as well oh, oh yeah oh, oh, you look very face. very very young there Kevin look at his did I give you a rating or anything no yeah. wow yeah. there you go anyway we should probably continue with the shows. I don't. I'm, I'm looking at this your stats. This is great here. radio. I am looking the sta- at your there's stats. There's no stats. There are. You're going to have to get on with the news round. It gives them. Yeah. It gives them. It gives them percentages. You can work that one out over there. 